there guys in today's video we're going to be going over how to make your instagram account more secure so that you don't get hacked all right guys Let's so this is what you want to do you want to go to your instagram now <laughs> I will also show how to do this on the phone, but it is so much better if you are on PC. So if you have a laptop or a computer, it is totally recommended to go on there to do this. But if not, that's okay. All right, let's get into it. So once you're on the Instagram home screen, you want to click on your profile in the top right corner. You'll click it and you'll see four options. Profile, saved, settings, and switch accounts. You want to click on settings. Now, I will blur some things out because I don't want a lot of things to be public. Um, so, sorry about that. So, if you think your Instagram account has been hacked or hijacked, and if you still have access to it, this is what you need to do. You need to go on login activity, and if there's anything un that's not normal or not, you know, like this. This allows me, I was using a VPN, but let's just say this was suspicious, right? Or this. I can click log out in the bottom. Now, these are me. I just use a secure network, so that's why it thinks I'm in a different location, but this is my phone. Um, I can You can log it out, and then if you notice anything that's weird, change your password immediately. Here are some tips. Don't use the same password for your Instagram account at other places. For example, let's say I need a Shopify account, and it's the same email and password. They get that, if they get a data breach, that could be used against you and they could try to get into any social media site with your email and password so don't use the same password over and over again unless it's for maybe a site you don't care about but even then it's still not good practice next thing is privacy and security you can make your account private or blah 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 blah, blah. i also recommend changing your cookies to everything off you're not allowed to turn that off but whatever after that's done i recommend going to apps and websites of course i don't have any for what the okay here it is so these are pretty much places that allow you to log in using instagram if they get a data breach that's also how apps and services can be used against you and they can have access to your instagram account if you don't recognize some of these remove them immediately after that go back to the privacy security screen sorry i should have had this already on the other one but you want to go to two-factor authentication and click edit. Now, for you, it will be blank. But I recommend using an authentication app, not a text message, because anybody can actually steal your SIM information and are able to actually use your phone number. So I recommend using an authentication app so that it gives you a random code every 30 seconds. And you can use that to get into your Instagram account. I also recommend getting your backup codes and saving those in a safe or somewhere in your house that you know no one can get to. Let's say, for example, um, you forgot your password, all right? You wanna go to Instagram.com and click on forget password. You just copy and paste this email real quick. Uh oh, I'm gonna censor the password box because it's showing an actual password. Sorry about that. Trouble logging in? You put in the email. Now, if someone gets into your account and your email has been changed, as long as you request for a link within 24 hours of you being hacked, more than likely it will be fixed. But it has to be the email you signed up with. Confirm it's you to log in. We notice unusual activity in your account, so we've logged you out. Follow the next steps within a day so we can get back to you before your account is disabled. You'll we'll click yes, or I'm not a bot, and click next. And then it will send you an email with a link to get back into your account. I literally had to make an AOL account just for this video. As you can see, it says Thomas Edwin 420 log in. I recommend changing your password anyway. I actually know the password. Okay, here's an issue. What if it does this? I recommend just clicking reset your password and change it to begin with. And then do it again and then reset and then you're good. I also recommend going to haveibeenpwned.com, links are in the description as always, where you type in your phone number or your email, whatever you sign in with, I recommend using your email, so if I type in my AOL email, well, I just created it, so I highly doubt it's in a data breach, click pwned, wow, no pwnage found, let's use my, old, let's use my email, my, oh no, pwned, 
So this will let you know if you've been in a data breach where you use the password on another service or the email on another service and it's been a breach. So on Quid, there they got in a breach where four million addresses, usernames, and password were stolen and then uh, traffic. So if you use the same password for every service, hackers who have the email and password from these two services can try main social media networks to get into your account. That's why if you use a different password for every other service, it wouldn't be an issue. Including your email service. Because if they have password to your email service, they can just get into any of your accounts. That's not good. I also recommend using the three steps of better security. Here is what you do if you're on a phone. You go to your profile, settings, security, and do everything I said on the desktop. So look at the login activity, you can log them out, and then change your password if you need to, set up two-factor authentication with, a, with an app. I um, also recommend doing the security checkup. So, yeah. So that's how you do it on the phone. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, click like, subscribe for more content. And that's how to keep your Instagram account secure in 2022. Just don't reuse passwords, use two-factor authentication. Make sure you know the email and password, obviously. And um, yeah, peace out.